excellent program. I mean, well done. Thank you. I, I did these courses, but I can't speak. I did everything that was in the program, a little bit of everything. You know, when I started this uh, mm -hmm. program, I was very focused. Even when I was waking up, the first thing it was coming in my mind was some phrases, you know. It wasn't training or anything, it was fun time. You know, when I started this uh, mm -hmm. program, I was very focused on it, you know. Mm. And I practiced almost every day. Wow. And so, and so even when I was waking up, the first thing it was coming in my mind was some phrases, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. For example, maybe today I I wake up and I say Hajimete, Hajimete, Hajimete. Another day, you know, the other yeah. day, another phrase, another phrase. I mean, you know. That's amazing. I, ne I never thought it would be so fun about, uh, you know, doing this, this uh, lessons. I mean, I had, for me, it was uh, like a fun time amazing i'm so happy to hear yeah, like not, this. Not, yeah it wasn't it wasn't training or learning or anything it was fun time wow because this, yeah because you know when i started I, I i really don't like this online sessions you know mm. face to face and i was very i hesitated a lot about it mm. and when i started i mean it it all went so smoothly and so nice. And the interaction with the, the Japanese professor, it was amazing. I mean, it was something I never expected. Oh <laughs> my God, I'm so happy yeah. to hear. Yeah, yeah. And then um, that also changed my perspective about mm. these things, you know. I really had a good time. I mean, it was excellent program. I mean, well done. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I, I'm so happy to hear that. And, uh, you know, especially, you know, in Greece uh, is multilingual culture because everybody learn, you know, English, everybody learn maybe French or German during the school, but also the language learning in, you know, process in Greece is very hard. You know, even uh, you, you guys learn, you know, uh, ancient Greek, and also like a lot of grammar exercises. And then uh, you didn't really learn grammar with us. What was the, this difference? How did you feel? You know, especially in Japanese language, I mean, uh, there are so many different things in Japanese. So even if you learn grammar, maybe sometimes you get confused, uh, you know? Yeah. This a, yeah, this is a problem with the Japanese. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, there are some things that uh, always uh, make you think that you can use this phrase in another occasion as well, but it doesn't, it's not the same. You know, mm -hmm. you always make mistakes and it, it, it requires a lot of attention. I mean, it's, I don't know what's how how I can explain it actually, but mm. yeah, grammar is always hard in every culture and every language. Mm. But uh, I noticed that in Japanese it's a little bit harder. For example, mm. Greek Greek grammar maybe is the most difficult grammar around the world. Mm. Okay, but uh, because we have so many different things, but in Japanese uh, because for example, one word, ite, you mm. can use in different occasions. And uh, this is the, the hard stuff about Japanese. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember in one lesson you you had, you said, nante ita, mm. doko, doko ita. It's the same word, different meanings. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, and uh, mm -hmm. this is the, the tricky part about Japanese. This program from NHK mm. World mm -hmm. is I made easy Japanese mm -hmm. these courses and uh, mm -hmm. one guy from internet mm -hmm. the Japanese with Utah. Mm. 
this guy. So mm -hmm. I, I did these courses, but I can't speak. You have learned Japanese with NHK and also you took some classes uh, yeah. with Utah. Mm -hmm. That was some videos on internet. This is mm -hmm. how it, it worked. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what kind of things you did, like uh, with NHK or Utah, for example, vocabulary or maybe grammar or something like that? I did everything that was in the program. Little mm -hmm. grammar, little, oh. little pronunciation, mm -hmm. little vocabulary, mm -hmm. a, little, a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's happened to you when you try to speak? Oh. I don't know. I'm I'm just trying to find the right mm. words, but I repeat myself mm. all the mm. time. Mm. And I was just repeating the same words all the time. And I couldn't mm. I couldn't say to them what I really wanted to say. Mm, okay. It's so difficult to express yourself. Yeah. Hajinamaste. ヤンリスです。お名前は何ですかテルミです。よろしくお願いします。え、ヤンリさんはどちらの方ですかえ、私はギリサ出身ですか。ああ。アテネの子会に住んでます。うん。テルミさんはどちらの方ですかヤマナ
um, yeah, he was uh, able to answer the question, but he wasn't able to question back. Mm -hmm. So we did um, question and then also like reactioning. He memorized like what he learned, everything perfectly. Mm. So, like end of the section two, um, like we were able to have a conversation, like, like a kind of catchable. So I was really impressed, to be honest. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Momoka-san. Hi, Teremi-san. So what was uh, your first impression on Ioannis-san? Um, so he said he, mm, he doesn't live in Japan and he, um, and he doesn't even have Japanese friends close to him. He doesn't have anyone to practice uh, his Japanese with. So I was quite worried when, first, when I first met him uh, because if, if you don't have a partner to practice, it's quite hard to keep going and keep motivation high. Um, so I was worried about that. But he never um, made such excuse. And he, even though he is a captain on his ship, and I know he is quite busy every day with his work, but he did an excellent job and he memorized all the phrases, like literally all the phrases he's learned and we could have a smooth conversation. Um, and his pronunciation and intonation got really improved um, through all the lessons. And I was really impressed with his progress. So Yanis is living in Greece, never had a Japanese friends who don't have any interaction uh, with Japanese, want to speak Japanese, you know, generally, like, you know, pure, pure heart, the loving Japan. I really respect that, first of all. And then uh, during the master course, um, I think he's one of the best students because he never almost forget any phrases. I think because of the, his environment in the SIP, maybe I thought that it's going to be very difficult to study, but I think he got a disadvantage, which is he actually really focused on study because in the SIP, maybe he doesn't have so much things to, to distract himself. So this is actually the one of the advantage for him. As a coach, I cannot really believe he can really speak Japanese. I think it's, this is amazing result. Perfect. Perfect. Mm. うん。パーフェクト。うん。うん。え、そう。えっと、最後に猫に買いましたか。おお。すごい。Yes。It uh, ask me if I have if I have breakfast or something. Ah, uh, exactly. Great, yeah, okay. I understand. Eh, captain, I'm doing. Hmm. So, what is it? What kind of work is it? Eh, eh, the work of the ship, management or operation, I'm doing. Eh, that's great. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm actually looking forward for uh, you know level two. Yeah. Because yeah, because when I was doing level one, I didn't actually you know the coach used to tell me today we are going to talk about this one, about this subject, but I was never prepared about it you know. Mm. So for example, I have some phrases like uh, that I don't like uh, anime. Actually, mm. I watch I watch anime, but. <laughs> It, it was a, a way to make the the conversation flow, you know. Mm. I said, I don't like anime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but actually, I'm watching anime. This is so mm -hmm. most of most many phrases I had in level one. Mm. Uh, it's not actually me, you know. Mm -hmm. we, were, we were trying just to make sentences. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And that's why when... Uh, I start the level two. I want to make more about me, you know. Yeah, definitely, definitely. For example, 
if we talk now and you tell me where are you now, I can tell you in Japanese that I'm mm -hmm. in the ship working mm -hmm. and I'm in this island. Where is this mm -hmm. island? I can tell you where is this island. In mm -hmm. this. And but if you ask me, Yanni, what time are you going to finish work? I don't I don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like Japanese, you know. Simple, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, simple stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not talking about like you said before, talking about politics. No. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I'm I'm doing English almost all my life since mm. I was uh, nine years old. Mm. Okay. So there are also so many things in English, like in politics and science. Mm. I can't, I can't understand. It's mm. natural, you know. Mm. Yeah, it's natural. Mm. But uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, Japanese made me you know when when i first went in japan i mm. was actually impressed mm. by by the people because the reason i wanted to learn japanese is not i want to go to japan to himeji Cho or hamariki mm. or uh, some aquarium no because i wanted to interact with to talk with people you know mm. people was the main reason I wanted to learn Japanese, mm. you know, I mean, to to hear about their stories and their interests and stuff like that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Because I was so impressed by how they, I think in some way, they have adopted a little bit about the American culture. Mm. And I see this in the on TV. I see this in in the ships. I mean, Japanese people come for work, and mm. I watch them. So I always wanted to talk with them, but I couldn't because they were. I, I think they most of them speak English, but they're afraid to speak in English. Yeah. So said so I thought maybe I'll start learning Japanese. Mm. You know, because mm -hmm. after you you open more yourself to the other person, you know, you want to learn more and more and more. So every every time it goes even better. Every every time. Amazing. Yeah, yeah because I just wanted to make the course like uh, as close as possible to the real life. The real yeah. life. You're not gonna meet always same person japanese same 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 person right yeah you're yeah. gonna meet a different person on the ship you're gonna meet different person in the different trip so i just wanted to show the the all format is each person is very different yeah so you can kind of need to adjust so that's also yeah, because, what the exercise is. yeah because you, I, like i told you before you have the wrong idea about japan and japanese people because you know they they keep some things about themselves and they don't open very fast. So yeah, that was a very a very nice thing. Uh, for example, when I was watching your uh, because I only participated only in one of your sessions mm -hmm. because of the time and the day I didn't have the time. Mm -hmm. the, the next time. next winter maybe. Yeah, man. Mm. Yeah, and I remember I was watching this coach participating in some of the sessions, and she before she start talking, she always gave the wrong impression that she was strict. Chihiro, I think it's her name. Who, who is that? Chihiro. Chihiro, yes, Chihiro, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. When when you first come across with her, you think she's a very strict. But after when she start talking, you understand she's a simple person as well, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And this is that's why I really enjoyed changing the coach, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interacting interacting every time with a different person. Mm. I mean that that was amazing. That thank was you amazing. thank you so much finally you you got all all the idea from our master course okay yeah okay. thank you so much uh you made my day really yeah. yeah 
yeah thank you so much to no to for being with me and also to tell me everything and also you are the best student so you should really proud of yourself and don't underestimate yourself that you can you okay. can do anything mm. thank you very much thank you. Mm, mm. So you actually excited to learn Japanese, but when you start it, you realize this is a lot harder than you imagine. But of course, you really want to be able to speak Japanese. You actually can understand what they are talking. You can join the conversation. You can interact them and you can actually make friends. You can work with them and you can easily enjoy the life in Japan. Life is only once. Then of course you start learning Japanese. And hiragana, katakana, kanji, which is 50,000 letters and 500,000 vocabulary, 20 layers of politeness, grammar. Oh my God, this is gonna be a really, really hard. Then you start to become self conscious about it. Like your speaking skills and stop trying and your pronunciation and losing the motivation. So the language learning itself is already really hard. Learning Spanish, French, German, any languages. But if you chose Japanese language, which is one of the most difficult language, of course you feel like you're not making progress enough, you start forgetting and you feel like when you really be able to speak Japanese. But you're not alone. These are really common problems that everybody faces. it. And textbook and language apps cannot talk to you. So you cannot learn how to hold the conversation, how to carry on the conversation naturally. So maybe do you want to change the learning method so you can make the much faster progress? You can feel easier to start speaking. So in our consultation, you can learn what is the fastest way to learn Japanese. What is a new learning method to actually give you this Japanese speaking skills. So sign up our free consultation now.